Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. So we're going to announce the winners of our Thanksgiving dinner that we had put in for about a week ago. About a week ago. So it's me and Rhonda, and we're going to see who who wins it. Ready? Sharon Shelton Branch. Sharon Shelton Branch, you are the winner of our turkey dinner. So, with the turkey dinner, if you'll get a hold of us today, we can meet you with that because it's actually in my refrigerator at my house. Yeah, of course, we can't have it out here in the office. So, we'll get that to you this weekend or you pick it up on Monday, whatever's convenient for you. So, congratulations. Okay, on another note, while I've got everybody's attention, I want to talk to you about some events that we got coming up. So, we there's a new restaurant in Johnson City. It's Sausage 4M. It's 4M Rock and Sausage and Grill. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so we have partnered up with them. Uh, they're a new client as a to us as well. Um, but we have partnered up. On, everybody knows that we do adopt a veteran. This is our fourth year doing adopt a veteran, where we feed and clothe about a hundred vets every Christmas. Um, so what they're doing is you can go on our Facebook page and look at this too. We are doing on Thursday, December the third, from five to ten. Um, anybody that comes in there and eats, 15% of that's going to our veterans. And if you buy a gift certificate for the holiday season, it's 20%. So here's a little bit about that. I know it's sort of fast to do this online, but you can check this out on our Facebook page as well. Uh, and another note, we are, you'll see flyers like this around Johnson City. With this Adopt a Veteran event, we have been getting a lot of veterans in this year, but we're getting families with those veterans. So like if a veteran... We always help the veteran and their family, not just the veteran, because they come to the event and we don't want people not to get gifts. And a lot of have small children and we make sure they get toys and they all get a coat, pants, shoes, and shirt. But we will make sure they have that there. Um, so if you would like to help one of our veterans, we would love for you to do that. Just call our office. If you, Usually if you want to adopt a veteran, you can do the shopping yourself. We will give you the sizes of what's needed. Or you can donate $150 and we'll do the shopping for you. That covers everything that they need. Um, but if you can't do that, then we are in need of everything on this list. This is, I'll make sure this is viewable on our Facebook page as well. Uh, we need socks, underwear, shirts, deodorant, toothpaste, combs, brushes, razors, blankets, anything that we can put in their bags for them. Because we try to take every dime that we get in for them and make sure they get everything for Christmas this year. A lot of these people do not even have a home. Uh, or they're very low income and they're struggling. And with COVID, a lot of people have lost their jobs this year, so we really want to help our veterans. Um, and then if you've got toys that you want to donate, we'll take those too, because I've got a lot of kids in so far. Most of the kids' range is about nine and all the newborns. So if you'd like to donate for that, I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope everyone has a great and safe, happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you next week. But we'll get a hold of Sharon, Sharon. <laughs> about your turkey dinner so you can have it for Thanksgiving. Talk to you later, guys. Have a great weekend.